on friday we discussed the first uh, 14 programs on string handling today we are going to start with the 15th program on string handling and in this program we are going to discuss uh, two more methods in fact one is operator and uh, other is a method we are going to discuss about equals and uh, equality operator so in this program we have one string s1 and is, this is initialized to a string literal hello and in the next line we are creating a new string new object of the string class using new and passing s1 uh, as a parameter to the constructor so this will build a new object s2 and uh, with the next statement we are calling equals method with the s2 s1 string object and passing s2 as a argument to the equals method this method basically verifies or determines whether the contents of two objects are same or not so if the contents of two objects are same then the equals method returns true and if the contents of two string objects are different then the equals method returns false so i'm going to give you the example over here let's i have run it i have executed this method once see it's giving me the result true because hello equals hello because there are two objects s1 and s2 and the equality operator tests whether both the objects or both the references are referring to the same object or not if two two references here s1 and s2 are the references reference to the objects if the two references are referring to the same object then this equality operator returns true and if the two references are referring to the different objects then the equality operators operator returns false so in this case because the two are referring to two different objects so that's why it's returning false yeah. let me modify this program a a little bit so what i what i am going to do is uh, here i'm going to create one object as one with hello and another object is let's say s3 i'm going to declare it over here string type s3 if i write this statement s3 is equal to s1 now in this case the two references s1 and s s3 will start referring to the same object because here the s1 and s2 are the reference variables so whenever you assign one reference variable to another basically the values are not copied as we discussed in the chapter classes and objects so these two objects uh, now these two references s1 and s3 will start referring to the same object now if i if i perform equality on operation on these two i'm going to copy this statement over here so here i'm going to make a change s3 because s1 and s3 are referring to the same objects now the s1 equals s3 or s1 equality operator s3 will give you the result true 
So here, this one is giving us the result true because uh, S1 and S2 are referring to the same object. So, so this is all about equals and uh, equality operator. I repeat the equality equals method uh, tests whether the two objects have the same contents or not. And equality operator tests whether the two operands, the two references that you are testing are referring to the same object or not. If they are not referring to the same object, then it will return false. The quality of return will return false. And if they are referring to the same object, then it will return true. Now let's discuss the next concept. Here we have the method compare to. This method also compares two strings. And the return type of uh, this method is integer. So it gives you integer result. It's a member of the string class. So you can call it with the string uh, objects or with string literals. Here we have two string objects. One is uh, in one object. Uh, we have uh, Amandeep where A is capital and in S2 string we have again the same name Amandeep but in the second case the uh, A of the uh, name Amandeep is in lower case. So if we want to test whether I uh, want to compare the, the contents of these two objects we can ca call the compare to method like this s1.compare to and pass s2 as an argument. So this compare to method returns zero if the two objects are exactly the same, they are having the same contents. For example, over here, the Amandeep and Amandeep, I have made both the same string so you will get zero in this case the very first line the very first result indicates this but if the first letter is uh, is small a right now it is small a see what we will get we are getting minus 32 so basically what it will do it will compare the names character by character where the compared to method finds the first difference it will subtract the unicode values of two, those two characters so here because the difference is at the first uh, location itself so it will subtract the the unicode character of of first string that is capital a and we know that the its uh, code is uh, 65 and the code for small a is 97 so the compare to method will subtract these two value and will give you the result minus 32 if i give you another example let's say one name is amandeep and the other one is aman Amanjit. Now the difference is here at fifth location, or we if we count from zero, then it is fourth. So this this here is the first difference. So what it will do? It will find the difference of D1 and D and J because we are calling the compare to method with S1. So it will subtract uh, the character of S1 and the character of S2. So the subtraction will perform in this order. So it will subtract D minus J because we are calling it with S1. So if you call it like this S2 uh, dot compared to S, uh, S1, you pass S1 as the argument. In that case, the subtraction will be performed of character S2 of uh, object S2 minus the character of S1. So let's check it again. 
we are getting the result 6 because the difference between J and D is 6. Right? So you will get the positive answer if uh, the alphabet of S1 or the calling object comes after the alphabet of the object that is passed to the conveyor method. And if you don't want to perform uh, the case sensitive comparison, then you can use compare to ignore case. For example, over here, these, these two names are the same. If we don't consider, if we don't consider the case, then they are exactly the same. So this compare to will give you the result 32 because here is the difference at alphabet D. But ignore case will give you the result 0. So this ignore case is giving us the result 0 because it is uh, not taking the case of uh, the string into consideration. Whereas the compare to method will compare the cases as well or considers the cases cases of the uh, strings as well so the next uh, problem is uh, problem number 17 and in this we are going to discuss the two methods and the methods are string uh, index of and last index of so what index of does is uh, if this is a string, let's say S in the string, we have a, a line, a sentence. Now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of their country. This is the sentence that is there in S object. What I want, I want to check the index of T. So I'm calling it with S dot index of I want to find the index of t. So it will give me the position where the t occurs. So it will start searching from the beginning and uh, where this it will find that t, it will return this index of method will return the position. So the position is counted from zero. So this is a zero location. One, two, three, four, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So T is at location 11 if we count from 0. So this S dot index of T will give you 11. If you use another method, last index of, then it starts searching from the end. And uh, now it will start searching from the end. It will find the T here at this place. Right? So it will give the index of that. Fine. So if I run it for you, see what you are getting. The index of T, if we start from the beginning, it is 7. So T is here, sorry. It is, it is at place 7. Uh, and if we start from the end, it is at place 60. Five. If you again count from the beginning, this will be at 65th location. So similarly, here we are uh, finding the position of uh, vectors. You can use the same function to find the position of the strings. So I now I want to find with this method the position of the in string S. So it will find the over here starting from this so it will return 7 because the first letter of the is at location 7. Similarly if you find the location of the from the end then it will give you 55 so this was the third 65 if you go back to this location it will give you 55. <clears throat> and the, so it's finding the subword as well because the is there in in there. So it will find the position of this the. So 
so this is the case of last index over here now the another variation of this is you can call index of with two parameters also this is a uh, overloaded method in string class so here what we want to do we want to find out t but we want to perform search from the 10th character so this was a set character at position 7 8 9 10 if you start from 10th location onward you will find the t here right so it will search this t this time so it will give you the index of that 11 right? this is the result so you can give the position the main main thing about this method is you can specify the position from where you want to start the search if the second parameter is not there then the index will start searching right from the beginning if you have mentioned the second index then the search for the character will start at the specified location similarly in the second uh, case in last index so if you want to uh, search backward from particular position uh, let's say this is the location number 60th right so it will st start searching back from 60th location so this is the case if you use the second parameter in case of last index uh, of method so this is all about these two method index of and last index of so we studied three variations of uh, this one is index of other uh, we can mention the position with last index of uh, index of from where you want to start the search then we studied the two variations of uh, last index of also one starts from the end and other if you mention that can start from the uh, from a particular position and this method can also be used for the strings as well so it can be used for the character these two methods are for the strings so this is the next problem In this problem, we are going to discuss uh, another method, substring. And the substring is basically a part of part of a string is called substring. For example, in case of uh, this word replacement, so place is a substring of replacement, and uh, we can say me is a substring of uh, a replacement is is a substring of replacement so we want to find a substring of a string i hope you get the meaning of substring now the first method is uh, where we pass just one parameter to the substring method that is start index so here uh, in this example we have uh, some string type objects one is org and in this we have this is a test this is true this is a sentence that it contains then another object is there search and in this object we have a string is then two or more objects are there sub its value is yes and result its value is null string then a do while loop what we are doing see here we are printing org first its value is so you will get this result this is the test this is true right you will get this result then we are using uh, org dot index of uh, search in search we have is so it will find the index of this so what you will get is this t is at location 0 1 2 three four five so is at location five so this will give you i the value of i five 
because i is not equal to minus 1 so it will enter into the body of this if statement here we are finding the substring starting from in the zeroth location so we are using the second second version of the substring method where we are uh, specifying the starting index and index so starting index is 0 and the index is 5 so you what you will get is the string from uh, from the position from the position 0 to i minus 1 so this is uh, i minus 1 this is right i minus 1 so this will give you the substring and then we are adding result with the substring it is was so this was so it will become this was in result we have this space that we will get from here and this will give you this was and the next line again we are con performing the concatenation so we are getting substring starting from uh, uh, particular position i plus search dot length i was 5 and search dot length is 2 so it will start from 7 so if you give substring 7 so it will start from the seventh position let's say this is the position number seven till the end of the string this is a substring in case of the first uh, string so let me let me make it more simple because it's a little bit uh, tedious to understand i'm going to delete this code to make it simple so what i am going to do is i am going to call this print alarm now my string is org dot substring i want to find and to this substring we need to mention just the beginning beginning of uh, beginning index that is five so let's check this part only I'm going to delete uh, this as well. So now it is perfectly fine. Let's run it. See here, I have mentioned 5. So this is place 5. If you count from here, this fourth character and fifth, this one is the sixth character. So its position is 5. So we are starting from 5 and it will give me the substring till the end of the string. So you will give this entire string as a result and uh, that will get printed over here. This is the meaning. If I change it to let's suppose uh, 15, then it will start from index number 15 and give the result till that. So this is the position number 15, space including space. So it will from starting from here till the end of the string that will be returned. So if I put our here 16th, definitely this space will not appear in the result. Uh, yes. And if you mention two parameters and index also, then what will happen? I'm going to show you that with another statement. So here in this case, we have starting index 16 and index is 21 if i mention these two see here we are getting this because this is index number 16 17 18 19 20 and 21 so this will give you the space right last index minus one so i'm going to change it a little bit to make it more clear so this is index number 16 17 18 19 20 if i give it 20 see what it will give me the last index minus one so this is this if i give it just 18 it will give me 16th and 17th letter 
only two character will appear right 16th and 17th so the string that will be returned will start from the starting index position and uh, and will end at end the location and index minus one so this will give me the character at 16th and 17th location only the end index is excluded from the result this is the meaning now let's go to the next problem here in this problem we have uh, another method that is concatenation c-o-n-c-a-t concat so this concat method concatenates the strings so we have in this problem two string variable one is s1 its value is one other is s2 and we are calling s1 dot concat2 we are passing two as a parameter to it so what this concat will do it will concatenate whatever they are in object s1 that is one and whatever you are passing to it so one and two will concatenate it and that will be passed on to the object s2 so the value of s2 will be one two right so i'm going to print it to check the answer print ln so this is s2 right and uh, here in this case as we discussed in the very uh, first class first or second class that strings can also be concatenated using the class operator so we are doing that so in s3 we have one and uh, we are adding uh, in s3 we are adding two so the result of concatenation you will get in s4 and here i want to print s4 so in both the cases you are going to get one two as the result see here one two one two so this is very easy to understand so with one object you will call the and pass the second as a parameter. <clears throat> let me give you another example based on that you can do this also let's say i want to make one word out of this concat and pass another another string as a parameter so it will concatenate these two strings so this will give me the concatenated result over here right so you can call the method with the string literal as well that is not the issue this we have already discussed then the next problem is uh, the method is replace so in this method we want to replace a character with another character so this is the prototype or the signature of the replace method it returns a string and uh, the first parameter should be the original character and the second is the replacement so here in hello in this example in hello we want to replace every occurrence of character l with character w so i'm writing over here replace l with w so the result you will get in us that we want to print using the print ln method so you will get the result with this let's run it c 
see here it has replaced every occurrence of uh, l with w the next thing is the string the string method basically removes the characters from the beginning as well as from the end of the string so here i have left some spaces before this message hello world and after the message i want to remove the trailing and the heading spaces so for that uh, if you call trim on the string it will remove or trim the trailing and the leading spaces from the from the string so these are the two answers one is with the space in the beginning at the end you will not be able to see it and in the second case there is no space uh, in the beginning or at the end that is the result of trimming method then the next method is this one if you want to change the case of the the string to upper case or to lower case then you can call these two methods to upper case converts the string to upper case and to lower case gives us the the lower case of that so if you write s1 dot two uppercase it will convert the actual string that is in s to uppercase and the result is stored in the variable or object upper similarly s dot two lowercase will convert the string in s to lowercase and will assign that to the variable lower and if you print upper and lower you will get that answer and one thing i would like to mention over here the value that is there in the object as remains unchanged so i'm going to print s over here to show you that we are calling the two upper method or two lower method it, uh, the, these two methods are not changing the value of s object or the s object will remain unchanged that that's what we want to check see here this is the original text this is the test this is the uppercase version of the string this is the lower version of the string and uh, the last result that we printed is the same that means if you call to upper method or to lower case method on the string the string remain unchanged <laughs> then the next is the join it's different from concatenate a little bit we are going to discuss first the prototype of join method so if you look at this uh, this method is of uh, type static so you can call it with the string class directly without creating the object you have to pass the character delimiter and then a character sequence so let's discuss it with the example to get it better so we are first important point is we are calling join with the name of the class string that is string because this join is a static method and the static methods can be called with the name of, of the class directly we are passing space as a delimiter and passing some strings so this is basically a variable argument uh, the second is a variable argument so you can pass multiple strings to it so we are passing three strings to it and 
what this join method will do it will join all the strings and while joining the string it will use this character as a separator so it will leave one space in between you so you are going to get alpha uh, space beta space gamma set similarly over here we are using comma as a separator so you will get john comma id number and then value so let's run it to understand the output so here in this case see we are getting alpha space beta space gamma because there was no space at the end of alpha or in the beginning of beta but due to this space delimiter it is leaving the space in between so while joining the strings a particular character can be used as a delimiter so here also in case of join it will join all these strings john and id number five six nine and then email id but this time comma will be used as a separator. so see here comma and space as a separator two symbols are there one is comma other is space right so comma space is there as a separator over here then over here comma as a space is there so i think you got it uh, right the next and the last problem of uh, this is of today's class not on uh, string handling the last problem of today's class so uh, this is what we discussed earlier we need not discuss it again <clears throat> so that's all about uh, today's uh, class uh, on string handling so if there is 